I didn't shave. So Westboro Baptist Church is nowhere to be found. And that's because apparently they're like banned from Canada or something. And apparently they make it through sometimes. But this isn't the first time that they just haven't showed up to their own protest. Which is kind of interesting in the sense that by them organizing a protest against this play, it has done nothing but rally support for the play and for gays and provide promotion for this said play. Uh, the Laramie Project. I don't know, I kind of wish they were here so I could be all like, get, get! and rough talk them and run them off. I was kind of hoping that Shirley would be here and I could ask her some pretty decent questions, you know, because I believe in not necessarily making fun of people, but setting it up so that they make fun of themselves, which shouldn't even be that hard to do with the Westboro peeps, them Phelps. I have a camera on myself, which automatically makes me cool in a crowd. We can help spread a message, a message of love, a message of support, a message of respect for our differences, and a message that homophobia is not tolerated in Edmonton. I don't know if uh, the opponents of uh, gay, lesbian, etc. rights have shown their face, but I think that uh, we pretty well show them that who we stand up for in Alberta. And uh, I just want to commend you all for showing out. Uh, you guys really rock. And uh, as long as people stand together and stand up for each other, we'll have a major breakthrough, even in Alberta. Hooray! I tell you, you know, three days to organize a rally in favor of human rights and acceptance and tolerance, and this is what you get that quickly. Uh, this just shows how strong the issue is and how great you guys are. I just want to thank all of you for being here today because you know the Laramie Project, it doesn't just document a gross human rights tragedy. What it also does is it, it provides a profound description of some of the underlying attitudes that before you know it can lead to that kind of tragedy. Next up we have a very special speaker that has traveled to be here. I am pleased to announce the estranged son of Fred Phelps is here with us tonight. leader of the infamous Westboro Baptist Church and Nate was forced to leave his family church and home on the eve of his 18th birthday and he has had virtually no contact with his family since. He is here today to speak out against his family and to bring a message of hope to the gay community wow. and to anyone who feels powerless in the face of the WBC's hatred. Thank you. that they were going to do this counter protest there was quite a lot of discussion on Facebook and in other places about the uh, whether or not we should uh, pay any attention to my family whether they were relevant and uh, for those who say that they're not relevant I respectfully disagree I think they're relevant because they're the face of extreme evil and we can learn from that I think they're relevant because I forgot why they're relevant. <laughs> yeah. They're relevant because they are, uh, they hold a mirror up to us and they show us how cruel we can be if we reject reason and embrace dogma. because they inspire us to be better. They're the impetus for why scores of people showed up here tonight in a park in Edmonton on a crisp November night to speak out against the message of intolerance that they teach and demand that there be equality for all of our citizens.
most important, I think they're relevant because perhaps there's a young gay person here tonight, somewhere here in Edmonton, who's bruised and battered from the relentless prejudice that they have to live with. Perhaps they're on the brink of despair and they see the heart of this place tonight and their hope is restored. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for coming here tonight, Nate. So I heard it was your dad's birthday recently. Is that that's true? It's today. It's today. <laughs> me a bit of a card that I would hope we would all sign for dear Fred. <laughs> the card is a thank you and birthday card thanking him for helping to make the issue of homophobia an issue here, for helping to bring us all together. I think that, you know, their hatred has really brought everyone together and it's really brought out a lot of love and a lot of support here tonight. If I can offer one tiny criticism to the Westboro Baptist Church and indeed offer the same criticism to all the hate peddlers out there, whether they're bat crappery or syrupy sweet, and that tiny criticism is that I actually expect a lot better of you. You continue to fail in your pursuit of pure hate. And I have to say that this failure constantly erodes my ability to take any of you t with any degree of credibility. <laughs> Both the invention of DS DIS and the development of VSLI are thanks to Lynn Conway. And Dr. Lynn Conway is a transsexual. <laughs> very simple terms. Every time you use any technology that has a modern computer chip, you are using a device that functions the way it does because of the permutations of transsexual technology. You guys are great. It's great to see such a positive crowd come out of something as negative as a, a scheduled Westboro Baptist Church picket, so I'm really happy to see this. We should do this every year. We could call it the Fred Phelps Rally Against Homophobia and Discrimination. What do you think? I have to admit, I'm pretty disappointed, albeit not surprised, that they, uh, that they didn't show up just to see what an awesome demonstration of uh, diversity and tolerance that we have here. Um, most of you probably don't like the Westboro Baptist Church, but uh, I am here to say that they do serve a purpose. Uh, they serve to remind us that in spite of all our progress as a city, as a province, and as a nation, the reality is that homophobia and discrimination are still very much alive and well. While groups like the WBC take their beliefs and actions to a level that is, uh, that's so hateful that it really it borders on absurdity and comedy, uh, there, there still exists a much more subtle, much more dangerous level of discrimination and homophobia out there. And that's really what we need to be watching out for. I would like this opportunity to remind you that we are running a bit of a fundraiser for the Pride Center. I have brought enough Tim Hortons hot chocolate for all of you. <laughs> all of you, not a word of a lie. And I am selling it by donation and all the proceeds are going to be going to the Pride Center. Um, I also need to let you guys know that tonight's showing of the Laramie Project is now sold out. And the final thing I'd like to leave you with is the message from tonight, which is, queer or straight, we value love and not hate. Woo! Look what you've done. You've organized a pro-gay rally. That's not counterproductive at all. You no, know, I was kind of excited to meet the Phelps and ask them some questions. There are 25 references in the Bible that condemn being left-handed, so, you know, there aren't that many about homosexuals. 
So it's kind of just like, why aren't you picketing any, you know, Jimi Hendrix listenings or left-handed guitar stores? You know, why focus on this? Fred Phelps, you love the butt sex. We all know it. It's okay. It feels good. What do you got to say about the dem gays? When I created the universe in six days, I sure as hell created faggots. Who do you think bought all my records? <laughs>